Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're in Hollywell Bay. We're on the hunt for some cold art film locations. So we're here at Hollywell Bay today to look for three pulled up filming locations. Welcome to Hollywell Bay. Hollywell Bay is a large sandy beach great for sandcastles and surfing, backed by dunes rising to 60 metres or more. They are an extension of the huge Penhale dune system to the south and are an important home for plants, birds and butterflies. Also a good spot for pulled up film locations. It's on the north coast of Cornwall near Newquay. So we've parked in the National Trust car park for Hollywell Bay. £4.50 for up to four hours. Six pounds all day? I think I've bought the car park. <laughs> Six quid. We've parked in the car park. We're going to follow the path down to the beach, cross the little bridge, and then we're going to go hunting pulled up film locations in the sand dunes. The first film location that we're looking for is the romance that developed between Dwight Ennis and Caroline Penvenon. Got some photos, hopefully we'll be able to find where that was filmed. The second one is Mawena and Drake and their romance. Got some photos again, we'll try and find out where that was filmed. The third one, Demelza's infidelity with Hugh Armitage. So we've checked on Cornwall County Council website, Hollywell Bay is a 365 day a year dog friendly beach. But beware, we do get adders in Cornwall. In fact, my granddad used to keep them. Weird. Come on boys, let's sniff out Ross Poldark. <laughs> Hollywell Bay, just checking that there's no ban of dogs on any of this sign here anyway. I can't see anything anyway that says the dog's not allowed. Well that kind of proves there's vehicular access. You'd need that for a film crew, wouldn't you? Yeah, they wouldn't have been on the RNLI van though, would they? <laughs> so the first filming location we're going to try and prove is Caroline and Dwight Ennis, they meet up illicitly. Uncle Ray does not approve because Caroline is a wealthy heiress, he wants a good match and he doesn't consider Dwight to be such a good match. They meet here. Quite a gallop, isn't it? <laughs> Did you enjoy that then? <laughs> I'm fine, but my horse is worn out. <laughs> Your noble steed. <laughs> Nay. It's about there, isn't it? That works pretty well. Here we have a fantastic sand basin in the middle of the dunes and this is where they filmed Dwight and Caroline on their horses. Well, we think this is about the angle they would have been when they were filming Dwight on the horse. To place this rather large sand basin, that is Hollywell, so you just follow the coastal path towards the lifeguard station which is just over the hump there. In fact, there's little posts in the ground so you can follow. Take heed of the signs. We have just seen a baby adder, so where there's a baby adder, there'll be mummies, but we weren't quick enough with the camera. Oh well, they are here. Right, we've got to get to that rock. Get Andrew perched up there like Drake, waiting for Mulwenna. So it's quite shallow, but boy, is it cold. So we're still on the hunt for this rock. Come right over on the left hand side of the beach. Still looking. Some fantastic rock formations. See right through that one. So, is it this outcrop of rocks? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Can't line the rocks up correctly. If you, if you look at the twin rocks, you see at the very bottom where they join. Compare that to what it looks like here. It looks like it's more over to the left hand side. Do you think so? Yeah. Andy couldn't just jump off that athletically could he? So we don't think they use this outcrop because the way that the rocks are overlapping just doesn't marry up with the photos we've taken. So we're going over to that next little outcrop of rocks. Let's go and check it out over there. So we're quite a long way over on the left hand side of Hollywell Bay. 
on the beach. Look at that sea, it's looking beautiful. I do love the sea. And there we have a recreation of Drake waiting for Mawena. Yeah, so he sits there making a shell bracelet for Mawena. Do you want to buy a shell bracelet? I've got loads of shell. Well, these shells? You've got loads of muscles, haven't you, darling? Oh, look at them. <laughs> okay, so they've obviously got a wider angle lens than we've got, so it doesn't quite look the same, but it's the right formation, isn't it? He jumps off the rock and runs. Does he have dogs in the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay! Just a place where we've been messing around with Drake jumping off the rock. It's over there, where that guy with the white t-shirt is. So we're now on the search for a cave. So the camera would have been set up just behind this rock. You wouldn't want to move it too far. It's got to be one of those two caves. I think it's that cave there. Uh... So we ended series three with Demelza having a little illicit liaison with Hugh. She takes pity on Hugh because he's losing his sight and he does encourage her, sends her love letters. Let's find out where they film the sequence. Demelza and Ross have a heart to heart. He's kind of suspecting that there might be something going on. Demelza reads and rereads the love letter from Hugh. Here at Melza. Yeah. Fancy a bit. A bit of what? A bit of lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so do you fancy trying to find the blade of grass that Demelza lay on when she had her little infidelity with Hugh? Where they did their deed? Yes. Do you reckon there's some traces of it there? <gasps> what about that bit? Uh, it's a bit too banky. Too banky. It needs to be flat, she'd fall off there. <laughs> What about over there? I think you'd be better off with a toboggan going down that like a ski slope. Yeah, there's kids over there as well, she wouldn't like that. No. Could be up there, that's nice and grassy. It's a bit sandy though, isn't it? She's got it in her feet. Oh, I think it's in here. Do you? Yeah, it's all a bit private. It is? Yeah, do you want me to try that? <laughs> can do if you want. Things you get me to do. What, lie down here? Yeah. What, recreate it? Yeah. Am I being here with Demelza? <laughs> I'll be Demelza. I'll do it in a ladylike way. Hugh, come here, Hugh. <laughs> come here. Oh, your breath smells bad, Hugh. <laughs> like that? Like that, that'll right, do. That's like that. lovely. Oh. Don't tell Ross, all right? <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there. <laughs> we aren't ever going to find the blade of grass that Demelza lay on. there. What's wrong with you? It's obvious. <laughs> so I think we've proved that there was three key plot points filmed here at Hollywell Bay for the Pole Dark series two and three. Hope you've enjoyed our little video. Can't wait to find out if Ross discovers Demelza's infidelity. That's where they left it at the end of series three. Oh, what do you reckon? He's bound to find out. She's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. If you're in Cornwall, if you're interested in Pole Dark, you need here. to come to Hollywell Bay. If you're interested in pole dark, come you need here. to come to Hollywell Bay. And recreate the... <laughs> well, not, <laughs> not necessarily. Including Demelza's infidelity. Do you think Ross will find out? Well, we'll keep it a secret, eh? <laughs> I don't think you even know. Oh, well, he'll probably watch it on TV and find out, won't he? to say it's definitely been used as a whole Shut up. Hello. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed our little video. We proved beyond danger to hit me with your cap. Phew. <laughs>
Tangled here. <laughs> Hugh, how would you like me? 